Hi guys, welcome to tutorial number 3 creating hyperlink using anchor tags. Now before starting with hyperlink, I'll just show you a few more ways in which you can use an image. Now in the last class we discussed how can we insert an image in our web page. Now for example if I have this image and I want this to appear as my background. So I have an attribute called background. This is an attribute of body. And in the value of the background, again we did this in the last class, I have to copy the location of the image followed by the name of the image followed by the extension .jpg so I'll save it with an HTML extension so you can see the background um, the background of this web page contains that image so this is one of the ways in which you can use an image again now you can also embed the image inside the marquee tags for example I have the marquee opening and marquee closing tags now if I want an if I want I can also insert an image between this so I'll just write image source and I'll copy this So again I'll save it and when I refresh it I see that the image is now moving in place of the text. So yes you can also uh, embed an image inside the marquee tags. You see this is an image and this is moving from left to right. The same effect that we saw while we used the text in the marquee. Now moving to hyperlink. Now what is hyperlink? Hyperlink is basically something that connects you connects you to, uh, to a different to a different page or to a different part of the same page for example I have this website Google now uh, you can see the cursor uh, right right now it is in the form of the normal cursor that we have but when I go to this YouTube it changes into a hand and I when when I click this YouTube it takes me to youtube.com so this means that that this text this YouTube text was hyperlinked to take me to the YouTube website so this is basically what hyperlink is and uh, you know we can create hyperlink in our web page using the anchor tags now anchor tags is again uh, they are again pair tags I have the opening anchor tag and I have the closing anchor tag so uh, you know this is a small a so these are the anchor tags now if we want to create a hyperlink I have to use an attribute of hyper, uh, anchor tag known as href this is the short form for hyperlink reference edge from hyperlink and ref from the reference now let's say if I want my hyperlink to take me to this site so I'll just copy this uh, URL and in the HR uh, hyperlink reference I'll copy my destination of where I want the uh, uh, text to take me to and between the opening and closing hyperlink I, I will write the text which I want to appear on my web page so I'll write click to visit Google and again I'll save it so when I refresh you can see uh, on this top left part of my page I have this text now when I click this text it takes me to google.com so this is how you can create a hyperlink you know you can edit this uh, text in many ways I'll, uh, I'll show you how now uh, right now what is happening is when I click this link it opens google.com in the same in the same tab now if you want google.com to open in a different tab so uh, you can in the anchor tag you can also define a, a target and in target you can write underscore blank so again when I'll save it and I'll show you the changes when I refresh it when I click on this so Google you can see Google has opened in a new tab and not in the same tab so this is something also I have one more attribute uh, it's called title now I'll show you what happens in title uh, let's say I write this link will take you to google.com again when I'll save it I'll show you what is the difference now when my when I take my cursor over this click to visit Google you see uh, you know it defines what this link will do I will, uh, in my title I have uh, defined this link will take you to google.com so when I uh, you know I take my mouse over to this link 
So the definition comes. This link will take you to Google. Again, when I click it, it opens in a new tab. So this is how you create a hyperlink. Something called link, active link, and visited link. For example, if I go to Google.com and let's say I write something like ASPN star. So you see, uh, this link appears in a shade of purple, whereas the link below ESPN star YouTube this appears uh, in a shade of blue. So why is it so? This is because I've already visited this website ESPN star.com once before. So this is a visited link or V link, and uh, this link is something which I've not visited. So this appears in blue color. So you know, um, we we have the extension of body attribute of body where you can define these you can define the link and then you can define a color that you want for the link for active link as well as for v link so you can define all these let's say if i want my v link to appear as uh, anything a a a a a a and i want my active link color to appear as in a red color ff Zero 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 zero, and my link to appear in a shade of blue. So blue will be zero 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 ff. So I'll just create one more link. I'll use a break line tag to separate these, and in place of this, let's say I write ESPN star, and again here. So I'll okay. So you see, see, I have two links over here now because I have already visited. I have already clicked the first link. Click here to visit Google. So this acts as a visited link, and I have defined a, a color for my visited link. This V link. So this is actually a shade of gray. So my visited link color appears as gray, whereas my link is actually a shade of blue. So that's why this. Click to visit ESPN star is uh, you know this appears in blue color. Now A link stands for active link. Actually, when I uh, you know I take my mouse over to this link, this should appear in red color because it is active link because the, my mouse is presently on this link. But this feature is not working on Chrome for some reason. So you see if when I click on this link, so this website opens and this and this this text changes to again this color because I have already defined uh, what color should V link appear as so these are again three more attributes of uh, hyperlink we have discussed how can we uh, link one part of the page to a different page now what if we want to uh, link one part of a page to a different part in the same page for example let us open Wikipedia and you know search for anything uh, um, let's say search for football or oh, sorry football so you see I have all these uh, all these little links over here so uh, if I you know all these links so if I click on Australian rules so it takes me to a different part on the same page so how can we generate this figure so uh, I'll show you how can how to generate uh, this figure requirement is that my web page should be long enough otherwise it doesn't make much sense to uh, you know jump from one part of the page to another for example in this page I have nothing but text you know I have something a paragraph about India then I have a paragraph about Australia and then at the bottom of the page I have a paragraph about China so I want to create links on the top of the page that will take me to the paragraph that contains information about India Australia and China so uh, this is how you can do it first of now first you have to name the anchors now this is how you name an anchor in in place of the uh, link in place of the url that we are pasting over here we have to write a name so this is how you name you know you first write ha type hashtag and then you write a name name can be anything cat dog xyz just for the sake of convenience i'll write india over here and now i want the text that I want to uh, that I want uh, that should appear on my web page so I'll write India over here and then I'll close the anchor tag similarly uh, I can you know I'll just paste this thrice and over here I can name I'll name this anchor as Australia again Australia and over here let's say China and again here China so 
I have created three anchors. Now this hashtag, this symbolizes that the link appears in the same page and not in a different uh, page. So this is the use of the hashtag. Now I'll just use a break line over here. Okay, now uh, how do I tell my web page where to take me when I click this India, Australia or China? Now let's say when I uh, when I click on India, I want my uh, web page to move it over to this part, India. So before India, I'll write this uh, tag A name. Now A name is the name that I have defined. So I have defined India before. So I'll just write India without the hashtag. No, I'll just make it clear. Yeah, A name India, and I'll uh, you know I'll close this, and I want this to end on India. So I'll close the anchor tag. Now I'll show you now uh, what what are the changes. So I'll save it. Now I've opened this web page. I'll save it as HTML. Not HTML. So when I refresh it, now you can see I have these three buttons. Again, I'll use break lines over here. Over here, two, three break lines. Okay, so I have these three buttons you can say on the top of my page. So when I click on India, so you see it takes me to this India. Now I'll uh, make the changes quickly. Uh, oh, so I have India over here. So be just before Australia, again I will write a name equals to the name which I defined, which was Australia, and I want this to take me here. So I'll close the anchor again, and just beside China, again I'll write a name equals to the name which I defined, which was China, and after the word China, I'll close my anchor again. So then I'll save it. And when I refresh it, you can see now again I have defined the V link uh, visited link. That's why it's appearing as a shade of gray. So when I click on India, I'm I you know I reach over here. So when I click Australia, and you know the web browser takes me to the paragraph containing things about Australia. Again, when I click on China, so it takes me to the paragraph containing things about China. So this is very convenient. This is how you link one part of the page to a different part in the same page. So, uh, you know, these things uh, can be used to create image mapping, which I'll uh, discuss in the next class. This is all in this class. Again, thanks for watching. You can subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you updated. And uh, Happy New Year to everyone.